Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Be sure to check out Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks. TCG Player for cards at great prices while supporting local game stores. And Patreon where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. If you haven't already, check out our custom Dragon Shield sleeves. Dragon Shield is the best in the business when it comes to trading card accessories. They have a great shuffle feel, are super durable, and are printed with the best quality in the industry. When you buy a set of sleeves from us, you help support content like this video, so thank you all very much. And if you're new here, please consider liking this video, subscribing, and leaving a comment below. We love hearing your thoughts, so let us know what you thought of tonight's game. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Andrew, piloting Derevi, Imperial Tactician. This list aims to generate value, slow down the game, and assemble a combo with Emil the Blast. Andrew's opening hand contains an Arbor Elf, Mox Diamond, Exotic Orchard, Yavamai Coast, Rejuvenating Springs, and his London Mulligans are a Chrome Mox and a Scalding Tarn. Next, we have Mike, piloting Sisse, Weatherlight Captain, with Gigantha the Wellspring as the companion. This is a mid-range stacks list that aims to slow down the game long enough to use Gigantha's ability alongside Sisse to get Najila and Derevi and win the game. Mike's opening hand contains a Bloodstained Mire, Vampiric Tutor, Soul Ring, Mystic Remora, Jeweled Lotus, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, and a Deadly Rollick. After that, we have Ryan. No, no, not that Ryan. A different Ryan. Paladin Carry, the Swirling Sky. This deck seeks to cast and copy its commander repeatedly over and over, generate a ton of value, and close out the game. Ryan's opening hand contains a Mana Drain, Muddle the Mixture, Deep Analysis, Merchant Scroll, Island, Soul Ring, and his London Mulligan is Atasha's Hideous Laughter. Finally, we have Okami from the Spellseekers piloting the partner pair of Tim of the Weaver and Kodama of the East Tree. This deck seeks to cheat in Razakat the Foul-Blooded, find and sack Protean Hulk, and assemble a combo to win the game. Be sure to check out the Spellseekers YouTube channel for gameplay episodes of CEDH. A link is in the description. Okami's opening hand contains a Nurturing Peatland, Arbor Elf, Polluted Delta, Finehorn Elves, Mox Diamond, Collector Oof, and an Overgrown Tomb. Without further ado, let's kick off this Dank Delirious Dark Devious Dance. Andrew wins the Sickest Playmat Challenge, just look at that thing, and gets to start us off. Andrew draws a card for turn and plays a Rejuvenating Springs. He casts an Arbor Elf. He casts a Mox Diamond, discarding Exotic Orchard. Andrew passes. Mike draws a card for turn and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora. He cracks his Jeweled Lotus to help cast his commander, Sisse Weatherlight Captain. With an amazing turn one wrapped up, Mike passes the turn. Ryan draws and plays an island. He passes. Okami draws and plays a Nurturing Peatland. He casts a Mox Diamond. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Diamond resolves and Okami discards an Overgrown Tomb. He taps his Peatland to help cast Collector Oof. This changes a lot of players' game plan suddenly, and Okami ends his turn. Andrew draws and casts a Spectral Sailor. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Arbor Elf. Ryan takes it and Andrew passes. Turn his upkeep, Mike pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps his Confluence to help cast Noble Hierarch. He moves to combat and attacks Okami with Sisse. Noble Hierarch's Exalted triggers and Sisse gets plus one plus one. Okami takes it and Mike gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays an Island. He passes. Okami draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He taps his Peatland to help cast Elvish Mystic. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Collector Oof. Mike takes it and Okami ships his turn. Andrew draws and moves to combat. He attacks Okami with Spectral Sailor and Ryan with Arbor Elf. They both take the hit, and with nothing else, Andrew passes. During his upkeep, Mike pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Bayou onto the battlefield. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. He moves to combat and attacks Okami with Sisse. Exalted triggers, and Sisse gets plus one, plus one. Okami takes it, and Mike passes. Ryan draws and casts a Soul Ring. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Soul Ring resolves, and Ryan passes. Okami draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He casts an Arbor Elf of his own. He taps his Peatland to help cast his commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Collector Oof. Ryan takes it, and in his second main phase, he pays a life and draws a card through Timna. Okami passes. Andrew draws and plays a Yavamaya Coast. He passes. At the end of Andrew's turn, Mike casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. During his upkeep, Mike pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws and plays a Gaia's Cradle for turn. He moves to combat and attacks Okami with Sisse and Ryan with Ragavan. Okami blocks with Arbor Elf. Elf dies, Ryan takes the hit, and Ragavan triggers. In response, Andrew taps Yavamaya Coast to cast Court of Calling, where X equals 1. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. 
The team debates on what he would get and they all assume it's super bad. They decide to take their chances and court resolves. Andrew fetches up a super bad, game warping, devastating Birds of Paradise. Then Ragavan's trigger resolves, Ryan exiles a lonely sandbar off of the top of his library, and Mike creates a treasure. All through, Mike passes. Ryan draws, takes no actions, and passes. Okami draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Elvish Mystic, Mike with Temna, and Andrew with Collector Oof. They all take it, and Okami gains two life. In his second main phase, he pays three and draws three through Timna. He plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts a Destiny Spinner. In response, Ryan casts Mana Drain. Remora triggers and Mike draws. Drain counters Destiny Spinner, and Okami follows up with the Birds of Paradise. He casts a Finehorn Elves and gives the turn to Andrew. Andrew draws and taps his Yavamaya Coast to cast his commander, Derevi, Imperial Tactician. It enters, and Andrew untaps his Birds of Paradise. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Spectral Sailor and Arbor Elf. Ryan takes it, Derevi triggers, and Andrew untaps his lands. In his second main phase, Andrew casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing his Arbor Elf. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. In response, Mike taps his Mana Confluence to flash in an Opposition Agent. In response, Andrew casts Force of Will, exiling a blue card and paying one life. Remora triggers, and Mike draws. Force of Will counters Opposition Agent, and Eldritch Evolution resolves. Andrew fetches up a Yeast on the Wanderer Bard onto the battlefield. Andrew shifts the turn to Mike. During his upkeep, Mike lets his Remora die. He draws and plays a command tower. He moves to combat and attacks Okami with Sise. Exalted triggers and Sise gets plus one plus one. Okami takes it and in his second main phase, Mike taps his mana confluence to activate Sise. He fetches up an Oko, Thief of Crowns, onto the battlefield. He activates Oko's second ability, turning Andrew's Yison into a 3-3 elk with no abilities. Next, Mike pays three to put his companion, Jagatha the Wellspring, into his hand. Finished up, Mike passes. Ryan draws, and in his first main phase, he adds two colorless from his mana drain. He casts Deep Analysis, drawing two cards. He plays an island and passes the turn. Okami draws and casts a Jeweled Lotus. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with Collector Oof and Ryan with Timna. They both take it, and Okami gains two. In his second main phase, he pays two and draws two through Timna. He taps his Nurturing Peatland to help cast Dark Ritual, adding three black. He casts Razaketh the Foul-Blooded. Everyone springs to attention, and Razaketh resolves. Okami floats mana through Elvish Mystic, then sacrifices it to Razakath, paying two life and fetching up a card into his hand. He activates Razakath, sacrificing Finehorn Elves, paying two life and fetching up another card into his hand. He casts a Mana Vault. He activates Razakath, sacrificing Collector Oof, paying two life and fetching up another card into his hand. He casts his other commander, Kodama of the East Tree. In response, Ryan casts Wash Away, targeting Kodama. In response, Okami activates Razakath, sacrificing Birds of Paradise, paying two life, and fetching up a card into his hand. He casts Veil of Summer. In response, Mike casts Deadly Rollick for its alternate cost, targeting Razakath. In response, Okami activates Razakath, sacrificing Temna, paying two life, and fetching up another card into his hand. Then with nothing else, Razakath is exiled, Veil of Summer resolves, Okami draws a card, Wash Away fizzles, and Kodama resolves. Okami casts a Mana Crypt. Kodama triggers, and he puts an Emergence Zone onto the battlefield. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Priest of Titania. He casts Survival of the Fittest, and with nothing else, Okami passes the turn. Andrew draws and casts a Spellseeker. It enters, and he fetches up a Neoform into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Derevi, Spectral Sailor, and his Elk Yison. Ryan takes it, Derevi triggers, and Andrew untaps his Birds of Paradise and two lands. In his second main phase, Andrew casts Neoform, sacrificing Yison and fetching up an Emil the Blessed onto the battlefield with a 1-1 counter through Neoform. Andrew ends his turn. Mike draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He activates Oko's third ability, exchanging control of a treasure and Andrew's Derevi. He casts Gigantha the Wellspring. In response, Andrew activates Emil, flickering his Spellseeker. Spellseeker enters and Andrew searches his library. He tries to look for an answer to Mike, but unfortunately cannot find an answer that he needs. He then fetches up a Noxious Revival into his hand, then Gigantha resolves. Mike taps his Mana Confluence to activate Sisse. He fetches up a Samut, Voice of Descent, onto the battlefield, giving his creatures haste. Mike taps his Gigantha to activate Sisse, fetching up Najila the Blade Blossom, onto the battlefield. Mike moves to combat and attacks Ryan with everything. Najila triggers and creates two warriors, tapped and attacking Ryan. Ryan takes it and Derevi triggers six times. Mike untaps and floats Mana with Gigantha five times. With his final Derevi trigger, he taps down Kodama. Still in combat, he activates Sisse, fetching up Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator, and Sahili, Voice of Plenty, onto the battlefield. 
He then activates Najila, gaining an additional combat step. Mike presents a loop of attacking his opponents with creatures, untapping Gigantha to activate Najila, gaining more and more combat steps, killing his opponents, and winning the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an interesting game. Congrats to Mike on his win. His moment of stealing a win con from another player was very spicy indeed. He had an amazing opening hand and capitalized on that to carve his path to victory. The most valuable card in tonight's game goes to Oko, Thief of Crowns. Sure, it was Derevi and Najila that closed out the game, but Oko was instrumental to that path. Oko not only stopped Yisan from doing crazy things on the next turn, but also allowed Mike to steal Derevi and use it to close out the game. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time and we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.